hello guys hello welcome back to the vlog i hope you guys are doing well if you're new here my name is Atwij and my channel is all about fashion beauty and lifestyle so today is officially four weeks since i had my operation post op should i say i how am i feeling i'm feeling fine um i'm not feeling as tired as i was so i wanted to just give you guys an update um today we're gonna take out my hair because i'm so tired of this hair see i did it in congo over a month ago <laughs> and it's time to remove this um i'm gonna take it out take it out attempt to wash my hair i'm hoping that i can do it in the shower backwards i hope or in the sink i don't know how i'm gonna do that but we'll find a way and then we're gonna make breakfast although it's like <laughs> afternoon now i'm gonna make brunch i want to make is it poached egg i'm gonna try and make it i've been seeing it on tiktok and i want to make it today um with some avocado that's it and then a coffee that's what i'm having i've cut down on breads i've been having the bagel that i showed you last time but i've run out that bagel is really nice um i don't feel heavy or bloated after eating it at all okay so in terms of how i'm feeling let me bring you down a little bit sorry about the noise it's raining outside i have to wear this bra for at least three months i bought another one from amazon but i feel like it's not compressing me properly and after a while i'm in a lot of pain because when your breasts are not compressed you really feel it feels really heavy i'm still constipating here and there hence why my stomach is bloated but i can't wait for it to go <laughs> but right now i'm really bloated because um of the operation oh sorry it's taking a while for my system to regulate and um, sometimes i go sometimes i don't in terms of the pain like right now they feel very tender why is it so dark i don't understand anyway. okay is that better i don't know why i didn't film like this all this time oops okay so right now <laughs> my boobs feel very very tender i took off all the bandages um two days ago and that was a lot i did it myself it was a lot literally because they were waterproof but my doctor i'm in contact with him and he said get in the shower wet it and then slowly remove it so i would remove it pause remove it pull pause pull pause literally i was like pull pause pull pause pull pause and i took it off and now i can see the nipples right now the scar is underneath the breast the breast is starting to fall into a raindrop shape which is our normal breast shape because before they were literally here on my chest but now i can see they've gone down even when you look up from the side look at that oh my god do you know what it's so funny when i came out of the operation room the doctor came to see me and showed me pictures i was so scared to look at them when he showed me pictures of my breast i was like oh my god i was almost in tears is that me is that really me i couldn't believe that my boobs were that small and they just looked nice so but obviously i still don't know what the shape or size will be but i know that i'm gonna be a d maybe well yeah we I, he gave me a d but i don't know what size i'm gonna be exactly yet because my breast hasn't fallen into its natural shape yet so what was i saying before that yeah so they're starting to fall the scarring is down here down here and also around the nipples so because the breast is starting to fall into its natural shape raindrop you can't even see the scar underneath at all which i know it's not going to bother me because i won't be able to see it now i haven't started using my um i haven't started using my scarring cream because the doctor said it was too early so i'm gonna start using it at the end of this week so i would apply it here apply it under there i feel like here scarring here you can barely see it it just goes deeper here and i think where they did the drains here as well it's left me a bump there which is really annoying and i'm hoping in time it will go down because i know the boobs and the body is still swollen do you know what i mean if if it doesn't go then i'll just have to work it off at the gym 
um but yeah like i'm looking forward to wearing all my summer dresses i bought a gorgeous dress i need to show you one second so i'm i'm planning to travel again and i bought this dress from asos this dress is so gorgeous i'm gonna sh get the picture to show you i tried it on and it's backless it's just long so i need to get it cut lengthwise babes this dress looks so expensive it's giving jacquemus right and look how small the titty areas are and they finally fit i was in heaven <laughs> i couldn't believe that i could fit into a dress like this because before i was restricted i couldn't wear things like this i had to always wear a bra so even when i went braless i would do like breast tapes even with the breast tapes, it was really difficult to get the boobs to look up because I had a lot of breasts. My breasts were all the way round to here. I had boobs all the way round to there. It was really difficult to wear things like this. And now I can go braless. Now I can wear sexy dresses like this without looking provocative. And that was the vibe, you know, because every time I wore something that was a little bit more revealing, I felt like people were just looking at me. Men were staring at me and it's uncomfortable, you know. As, as much as you know we all like attention here and there but sometimes it's too much and i'm just so happy and relieved that i can finally wear things like this this dress is absolutely stunning i got it from asos it was like 75 pounds like i said i'll put a picture before we get into breakfast i wanted to show you these earrings that i got from amazon they're the bottega dupes love love these i saw them on my bestie Dylan beauty <laughs> and i went ahead and ordered them i haven't worn it yet look at how stunning this is it's just so beautiful let's do something here stunning piece absolutely love it they are really cool really gorgeous it's in like is it an egg shape like a pear shape or something and not with this hair but when i get my hair done i think it will look better i don't think i like it with this hair at all that's why i've not worn it but this is what they look like these will be really cool for the i'll just show you one this will be really cool for um for autumn winter it's a statement piece and i really love it i think it looks really gorgeous look at that especially with like black hair i think this will look really nice i'm loving it this is what it looks like i can't remember how much it was but it wasn't a lot and um yeah this is what it looks like i love it so much and the gold doesn't look fake it's more of a yellow gold like it's gold gold it's not champagne which which is why i really like it but i feel like with the hair it's not really giving if the hair was darker it would look better so these were the bottega dupes from amazon i will link it down in the description for you guys really nice statement piece oh i think i broke the thing the gold part and then i wanted to show you a gift i received a hermes wallet and as a gift so i wanted to show you guys how cute is this wallet it's a great color for the summer uh as you open it up we have hermes right there and it's a wallet i wish it was more of a wallet on the chain so that i could wear it um on the chain but it's a purse so i could even use this as a clutch because it's big enough um because all my bags are quite small and i don't have a uh, yeah i only have one big huge bag which is my prada my prada is the only big bag that i have in orange so ooh, this will definitely fit but i think like on holiday and stuff i could definitely use this hermes wallet as a clutch because it's big enough and it's a really nice color like with a white outfit or all black or like a um, a pop of color i think this will look nice or like a blue outfit or even pink i could wear this with so this is really really nice my god it's very windy outside 
we have so much to get through i've got so much pr packages to go through as well i think later in the week we're gonna open it i'm working with some new brands they sent me some new pieces for um to try out so i'm excited to show you guys but anyway let's try to make this poached egg and then wash my hair because do you know what i mean we need to so let's go let me do let's do it hello welcome back to the vlog i hope you guys are doing well it's a new week babe it's a new week let me grab my lip oil so my house is a mess i need to do my uh, i was gonna say spring clean my autumn clear out i need to clean my house <laughs> i need to get rid of loads of things okay green tea i just had a shower by the way it's been four weeks post-op this is the fifth week i think and showering this is my dior lip oil in number 016 one of my faves i love it it just adds a really nice rose to my lips i will add it down in the description having i'm getting ready to go meet my friend ruth we're going to westfield this is my first time going shopping to be honest with you i've not been westfield in a very long time this is a very old hair vv wig i'm just going to use this mirror here to um, do my hair no makeup i haven't worn makeup since i came back from congo i just like i'm loving my skin at the moment and plus putting on makeup is actually long these days i really cannot be bothered <laughs> with everything that's happening i just cannot but um i'm guessing we're going to do my first look together but anyway we're going to go to westfield because i'm looking for the gold clutch and it's sold out everywhere and i was even saying to my sister i'm so pissed off that i saw it before melissa's wardrobe spoke about it on instagram and i remember saying to myself oh you know what i will come back for it because i was just passing and i've never been able to see it in the stores ever since then and i'm so annoyed with myself because i always do this so now i just need to learn that it's 2023 babe when you see something at zara you just have to buy it like there's no coming back because once the the girlies see it it's gone so you're probably wondering why is she doing her hair like this because i can't be bothered like that's the honest truth <laughs> i'm just trying to find the easiest way to do things but uh, where's the brush but yeah i wanted to quickly as i get ready let you guys know what tiktok has been making me buy honestly every time i'm on tiktok i'm purchasing something like right now i just purchased these lashes that i saw this beautiful babe wearing and they just looked absolutely gorgeous so i'm waiting for those to come um some of the things that i've purchased lately is this dream cocktail color well it's the leave-in treatment for your hair and um you for dry straw hair like so i think what you're meant to do with this is um apply it dispense it in the palm of your hands and then work okay babes so quick outfit check jacket it's from ted baker bodysuit it's from tiktok <laughs> trousers are from zara and i'm going to bring my givenchy bag and then on feet i'm just gonna put my um i'm gonna put should i wear sandals it might be easier but i think i'm gonna put trainers on what's it gonna be easier to wear my <laughs> my hermes in white because it's still kind of warm but do do you wear track suits with yeah i can wear this i can wear my hermes yeah i think i will actually i'll put my Hermes sandals just so that it's easier for me to go around. I'll see you later.
guys we've come to eat quickly at Wagamama because I'm hungry I just had some eggs this morning and now I want to eat something quickly I don't know why the camera has that blue light but I'm trying not to get no I'm just speaking to the camera I'm trying not to get the girls I'm vlogging so please so be quiet you be quiet <laughs> So that blue light like keeps coming on the screen but anyway we're gonna eat something with this girl and then we're gonna go to Zara and try on some clothes I'm so excited okay guys don't watch my nails bad I need to get nails. my nails done bad nails what's wrong Do you know where I can get it? Is it showing anywhere? This is the one I was showing you at home. They also have this one. Oui, ma belle, je viens. They have the vibration. Starlight. Supreme is my favorite. It's really creamy. I love it. Really nice. Try it out. I'm trying on this jacket. I love, love this so much. A trench is a must for every season. And this one is just gorgeous. I love the details here. So this is coming home with me love love this new in zara looks really expensive can dress it casually like now i'm wearing um like a, a lounge wear but you could just even throw on heels with these even with my hermes sandals this looks really really good we love to see it love love this what do you guys think this is definitely the right size i've got a large love it so i was just trying on the trousers i finally took off my top and i just had to show you guys how amazed i am with my new boobs like they're still swollen but they just look so good i can't wait for the swelling to go down i like these trousers but i don't like this so i think i need to lose my stomach for this because right now it's just i'm a bit i'm really bloated since the operation i've been constipating so please excuse this i just want to show you guys how good this looks like and how nice are these earrings from amazon i mean baby <laughs> i love it so much this is a look i'm loving it i love to see it so you guys know that waistcoats are so in trend right now so i'm looking for the perfect one this one is okay it's okay it, i'm not crazy about it 
I'm not crazy about the trousers because I keep getting this. Um, I don't like this style. It isn't working for me at all. Like, it just looks too crazy. Um, the back is cute though. But this is not my fit. The fit is not right for me. The trousers, I just put on these shoes. They're also from here. But this could really work if the trousers were different. But what I like about the waistcoat trend is the fact that you can wear them with jeans. You can wear it with a skirt. But I'm just not feeling this. Let me tuck in my belly. My girl, tuck in your belly. <laughs> so here's the next item. This jacket's really nice. I love how off, I love how um, exaggerated the shoulders are really nice i think this would be better in black for me that's the back what do you guys think i love the exaggerated shoulders so this is the another another number that i, I like this a lot but <laughs> guys the dilemma is mad even though i did my boobs i'm still a large because you know i'm slim thick okay it fits really nice here but and I can't zip it all the way because right now I'm quite sore. I think I'm going to need an extra large because this doesn't stretch much. But this is really nice. I really like this. It looks really expensive. It's got some corset details here. Um, and it is expensive. It's like a hundred and something pounds. It's a uh, 119. 119 pounds. So it's quite expensive. But I like it a lot. It looks really classy you can put a jumper on top you can put a shirt underneath and it will look really nice so i'm really liking this but <laughs> maybe i'll bring this down so that yeah one second yeah. <laughs> it's nice it looks nice in you this is cute this looks really nice but it is small though because it's not zipping all the way that's all right this is really nice okay so lastly i'm trying on this black waistcoat this one is really nice also guys that dress i need it in an extra large okay that the previous dress this is really nice it'll be nice with jeans with a satin skirt pleated skirts trousers i really like this but i really wanted it in the white so i'm gonna wait for the white to come back online and then i'm gonna get it Your friend Rosaline wants to buy foundation concealer. My bit. Which one do you guys like? She's trying Fenty highlight normal. Normal, isn't it? Sorry, I'm on your way. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this, yeah, because when you do your makeup, you want that highlight. This is probably the one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah.
so today I'm going to get my nails done it has been a hot minute since I did my nails I've not done it since I've come back from Congo and I want it to just feel pretty look like myself and feel like myself I'm healing really really well this side has been so itchy last night I just couldn't sleep because it was really itching me like one thing about getting something done especially breast surgery a lot like everybody has complained that I know have done it like the itch is a lot and I think the first week for me because my body heals very quickly um so I would have discussed this anyway in the sit down video but I heal very very quickly I've noticed that so within the first week my incisions were starting to close already so which was really good so the first week I just felt like itching myself and this side is where they took out the drains right there that's taken a little bit longer to close up um, to be honest that's the only thing that's open at the moment this side already closed nipples have closed incisions here has closed under has closed it's just here and right there that's where i've had a little bit of issue but it's all starting to close up now and i'm so itchy so <laughs> this morning it's 10 o'clock now i want to quickly go and get my nails done before it gets really busy because today is friday and everybody and their grandma and their dogs comes out to get their nails done so <laughs> i want to rush in before rush hour and um, i've just put my lip gloss on pardon me i made a juice this morning again i had it with pineapple cucumber because i'm trying to detox like i told you because since the surgery i've been experiencing constipation anyway let's go get my nails done we will catch up later